Good Tuesday evening and welcome to the NCW Life Evening News. I'm Grant Olson and it's great to be back. Before we get to tonight's uh, top news stories, let's take a quick look outside our weather window. And after a day of 70 degrees yesterday, what a difference a day makes. Today, about 17 degrees cooler than yesterday. Lots of clouds out there. We did see some windy conditions at times. And this is a very dramatic shot from our jump off ridge SkyFi Tower camera. Of course, in the middle of the screen is the Bill, uh, Wenatchee Heights area. Of course, that's where our cross camera is. But you can see some scattered showers around. We do still have about a 30% chance of showers tonight, and that will go up a little bit later on. And we have some cool weather to talk about. We mentioned that it's a lot cooler today. What we're going to see is very cold overnight lows, and we're talking lows in the upper 20s here in the Wenatchee Valley, maybe 30 degrees the next couple of nights, and even colder in some of our viewing areas around the Winthrop Twisp area and also over in the Columbia Basin. And you can see lows between 20 and 25 degrees over the next couple of nights. And we'll talk about how long that will last coming up a little bit later on in your weather forecast. And now a few of the stories we're following for you tonight. The latest report from the State Employment Security Department reveals a mix of good and concerning economic news for the Wenatchee Valley. Yes, it's early October, but Snoqualmie and Stevens Passes were a snowy trek for drivers this morning. And nine Wenatchee Heights homes are on a boil water alert after a mouse was found in an old reservoir yesterday. But first we begin tonight, a motorcyclist who allegedly led police on a highway chase from East Wenatchee to Rock Island is suspected of carrying drugs for sale. 19 year old Elian Santian Cruz was riding on North Georgia Avenue on Friday night when East Wenatchee police tried to pull him over. He allegedly fled at speeds of up to 85 miles per hour, ran from police when he finally stopped at a Rock Island house and fought with police before they overpowered him and used a taser. Police said Cruz was carrying a large amount of cash, plus more than eight ounces of methamphetamine and three and a half ounces of heroin. Cruz has one previous conviction for cocaine possession. Well, the latest report from the State Employment Security Department reveals a mix of good and concerning economic news for the Wenatchee Metro Statistical Area, or MSA. Local monthly unemployment rates have crept upwards during the past nine months from December 2018 through August 2019. But rates this year have still been relatively low when compared with corresponding monthly rates during the past 10 years. The Wenatchee unemployment rate rose one full percentage point between the August of 2018 and 2019 from 4% to 5%. But rates this year have still been relatively low when compared with corresponding monthly rates, as I mentioned, during those past 10 years. Year over year, monthly total non-farm employment growth rates in the Wenatchee MSA have been less robust than monthly growth rates across Washington during each of the past 11 months. That's from October 2018 through August of 2019. Well, yes, it's early October, but Snoqualmie and Stephen Passes were a snowy trek for drivers this morning. Traction tires were required on Stevens for much of the morning, and at about 10 a.m., a stuck semi blocked the eastbound lanes. Shortly after that, chains were required for large rigs. By mid-afternoon, around four to six inches of snow had fallen, with up to eight inches possible by tonight. Meanwhile, a Chelan County project near the summit was brought to a halt by the snowstorm. A contractor on the Yodelin Creek project is replacing two damaged culverts and installing a single span bridge on little used Stevens Road. Well, nine months, or nine Wenatchee, I say, Wenatchee Heights homes are on a boil water alert after a mouse was found in an old reservoir on Monday. Chelan PUD water and wastewater manager Ron Slabaugh said the PUD already was on track to bring a new reservoir online on Wednesday. He said the current reservoir, an old and buried concrete container, was installed by home homeowners long before the PUD started providing water service to that area. The PUD purchased a pallet of drinking water it distributed to the residents to tide them over until the new reservoir starts operation, as we mentioned, tomorrow. Well, coming up next, tomorrow night, the community will have a chance to weigh in on the city of Chelan's effort to preserve and protect lakefront access. The Wenatchee Valley housing shortage is having an unexpected consequence. Fewer graduate students are able to take on jobs and study opportunities here. 
and National Park Service and U.S. Fish and Wildlife officials were in Okanagan last night to hear from North Central Washington residents about the proposal to introduce grizzly bears into the North Cascades. I'm Grant Olson and you're watching the NCW Life Evening News. When you're ready to purchase your next vehicle, make sure you stop by Sangster Motors. They're your locally owned and operated Buick and GMC dealer offering four acres of new and quality used inventory. Their philosophy is simple. They offer you the best product at a competitive price, all with impeccable service. Stop in today, have some popcorn or coffee at Gear Up Java, let the kids play and talk with one of the Sangsters about your next vehicle. You'll find them on the corner of 9th and Miller and Wenatchee or online at SangsterMotors.com. Caring about your family is what brings you back to theirs. Travel enhances your life in every way. Let the travel professionals at Journey Travel and Tours help you plan that dream vacation. Don't leave the important details to those nameless, faceless online agencies. At Journey Travel and Tours, our goal is to build relationships that last a lifetime. And when you do need help, we have a 24-hour helpline that is routed to one of the agents in our office. When you think travel, think Journey Travel and Tours. It's where your journey begins. Like us on Facebook and you could be one of our monthly winners. Arctic Refrigeration and Heating has been serving North Central Washington for 34 years. Arctic provides the finest heating and cooling air quality products for residential and commercial customers along with prompt and professional customer service. Arctic also offers specialty services like custom sheet metal fabrication of ductwork, coil cleaning, as well as planned fall and spring maintenance for the overall well-being of your system. Arctic is available for emergency calls 24-7. Call Arctic Refrigeration and Heating for your heating and cooling needs. Coming home should never be a chore. Let Mary Maids of Wenatchee customize all your cleaning needs. Weekly, bi-weekly, special occasion. Do you have a vacation home that needs cleaning? We clean them too. Locally owned and operated, let Mary Maids do the cleaning while you focus on your family and friends. Mary Maids has special offers to fit your budget. Request your free cleaning estimate today. 509-663-1710. Welcome back. In another news, tomorrow night, the community will have a chance to weigh in on the City of Chelan's efforts to preserve and protect lakefront access. The issue came to a head after the City Council voted to purchase 9.8 acres of property on Spader Bay last month for $400,000. After numerous citizens voiced objections to the purchase, the City scheduled a town hall for Wednesday at 5.30 p.m. at the Senior Center. In addition to the mayor and council members, the city's consultant, J.A. Brennan and Associates, will be on hand to answer questions about the city's lakefront access strategy. Well, the Wenatchee Valley housing shortage is having an unexpected consequence. Fewer graduate students are able to take on jobs and study opportunities here. That's the finding of a new report by the Bridge Research and Innovation District. It's a working group looking at regional growth. Ten educational institutions and employers said right now they teach or employ an average of 191 students in advanced degree programs each year, but are only able to provide housing for 37 of them. The rest must fend for themselves. Adequate housing is the community in the community uh, could raise the number of students served annually to as many as 263. Well, National Park Service, U.S. Fish and Wildlife officials were in Okanagan last night to hear from North Central Washington residents about the proposal to introduce grizzly bears into the North Cascades. Congressman Dan Newhouse was there and commented on the large turnout, which he said demonstrates to the federal government that local communities must be heard loud and clear. Newhouse has come out in opposition to the plans to move up to 200 bears from Montana and British Columbia into the North Cascades in the next 10 years. Commissioners in Chelan and Okanagan counties have expressed concerns over possible conflicts between bears and tourists. The government's plans are currently undergoing a public review period with a deadline for submitting comments coming up on October 24th. You're watching the NCW Life Evening News. Coming up next, tonight's feature story and your complete local weather forecast. That and much more still to come on the NCW Life Evening News. Stay with us. With 15,000 square feet to explore, you'll find something special at the Antique Mall at Kashmir. 
For the do-it-yourselfers and those with a keen eye for making something old, fresh and new again, the Antique Mall at Kashmir is the place to come find your next project. From the coin enthusiasts to avid collectors, Antique Mall at Kashmir has treasures in every corner. Come find your treasure today. Antique Mall at Kashmir's friendly staff is here to help. Stop on by today. At some point, we realize that value and practicality go hand in hand. A time when an unnoticed accumulation of items has become burdensome. These possessions still have value, but now lack usefulness. Donate your unwanted items to Goodwill and become a job creator. Your donations allow Goodwill to provide much needed training to job seekers in our community. And that's pretty useful for everyone. Be a job creator. Donate. Goodwill. There's more behind the store. Family roles change with time. You may find yourself being an unpaid caregiver to a loved one. Caregiving can be rewarding, but also stressful. Taking care of yourself is vital. Aging and Adult Care of Central Washington has low or no cost services for unpaid caregivers, such as in-home support, care supplies, and counseling. Connect in your local area by calling Aging and Adult Care at 800-572-4459 and mention you're interested in caregiver support. Hi, I'm Ricardo, and this is Amanda, and we are from Impact Auto Sales. Where you can expect a hassle-free car buying experience. With our wide selection of used cars, trucks, and SUVs, let one of our friendly sales staff help you find the vehicle that fits your lifestyle. We have financing available for all credit types and great low rates for first-time buyers. Call us today at 888-8000 or stop by 3522 State Highway 97A in Wenatchee. Impact Auto Sales, where we strive to make an impact on your life and not your wallet. Welcome back to the NCW Life Evening News. In tonight's feature story, a snippet from this week's NCW Life magazine with producer Caitlin Hedersheed. This episode takes us inside the nonprofit Tierra Village, an organization bringing nature, programming, and community to adults living with developmental disabilities. To me, what this world needs is a lot more creativity. And I think all of us individuals want to be able to ex express ourselves. Some people do that in words, some people do that in art, uh, others do it in how they take care of their yard, their garden. And this program gives you an opportunity to do all those things. So the participants in this program have done things that they would have never done, uh, you know, say in a home setting without the facilities to be able to do that. Seeing individuals grow and um, become leaders and develop skills um, just by giving them a place to do so that um, works with them at their pace and meets their need. That's what keeps me coming back. This industry, maybe more than others, is just show up, see if you have it, whatever it is. Like if you fit in, if you can handle kind of the, I don't want to say chaos, but the unexpected. Expect the unexpected and be okay with that. Winding five miles up the Chumstick Highway, drive the dirt road over a set of railroad tracks and into the forest where you'll find Tierra Village. Tierra Village falls under the umbrella organization, the Tierra Learning Center, which is home to 320 acres of individuals and businesses, including a retreat center, an organic garden, and a preschool. Tierra Village sets out to co-create a community where every individual can thrive and find an environment that combats any feelings of loneliness or helplessness often experienced by people living with disabilities. This nonprofit is broken down into three elements. The Coyote House, a residential home set up to house six adults for more independent living. The Trails Program, which empowers individuals and brings learning, adventure, and community to a wide range of participants. And finally, Employment Services, which helps people with disabilities find meaningful employment in the Valley. Executive Director Catherine Kilty says she's so grateful for the support from the community of Leavenworth and the staff that shows up for the residents and participants at Tierra Village every day. What I'm so impressed with is how supportive our Upper Valley is of our people with disabilities. The jobs, you know, we have somebody working at Safeway, another individual works for the city of Leavenworth, also for Saanich Canyon here, and then up at Stevens Pass in the wintertime and then Mountain Meadows, which you were there this, this morning. And the community is just so welcoming and so friendly and so safe. The sincerity 
of how much our staff care for our residents is evident every single day. Every day is, is a good day. We have some challenges, but you know, we talked before about when you go home at night, what are you happy about? And, and just knowing that you're, I'm, you know, my role is to support staff to be the best they can be. And those staff support our residents to have an amazing life. And I'm so proud to be a part of this organization. Time now for a check of your North Central Washington weather forecast. And before we get to all of those details, let's take another beautiful look outside our weather window here at the NCW Life Studios. And this is what we're seeing out there as we take a look from Jump Off Ridge. Right here is Wenatchee Heights area and our cross camera, usually about right there. It's a beautiful view of East Wenatchee and of course Wenatchee and lots of stuff going on out there. We're seeing a, a quick moving trough move through the Washington state this morning, and that's going to be followed by a cold front now. We're going to see some clearing skies and that is going to make for some very, very cold overnight lows as we get through the first part and into the middle part of the week. We'll get to that in a second, but temperatures today once again, it's not like a broken record below normal and we are way below once again today. 54 our unofficial high temperature today. 66 is about where we should be. 45 is where we started the day and that's just a tick up from our normal low of 44 degrees. Record high was back in 1988 at 79 degrees. Record low 30 degrees in 1985, and we may be seeing record lows over the next couple of nights. No new precipitation, and that means we're stuck on 5.93 inches of moisture for the year, and that's actually about eight tenths of an inch above where we should be for this time of year. Sunrise this morning was at 7.09, and the sun will set tonight at an early 6.27. Let's take a look at how your Wednesday shapes up as we get into hump day Wednesday and tomorrow. Expect another cool one. In fact, even cooler than today as that cold front, like, as I mentioned, continues to barrel our way from Alaska. 54 in Moses Lake, 53 tomorrow in Afreda, 51 for Wenatchee and Kashmir, and then a little bit cooler as we go up in elevation. Leavenworth probably won't get out of the 40s tomorrow at 49 degrees, 50 in Eniat, and 52 the high temperature up in Omak. Taking a look at our surface loop now, we'll begin with tonight and go through the next six or seven days. Partly cloudy skies tonight. We will begin to clear out after about eight o'clock tonight, but a little bit breezy at times too. 10 to 20 miles an hour. Most of the weather, look at that over into Montana where parts of Montana could see up to 10 inches of snow by this time tomorrow night. On Wednesday, we'll see sunny skies, a northwest breeze and cold overnight temperatures. These are 30s and teens and 20s here. We're even going to see some of those in the Cascades. Our coldest night that we have seen so far this year, at least this winter season and fall season. For Thursday, sunny skies. We will begin to see a slow warming trend beginning on Thursday as high pressure in a ridge comes over the Pacific Northwest. Mostly sunny for Friday, light winds, and we will continue that very slow warm up as we get into the end of the week. And especially as we move into the upcoming weekend, partly cloudy for Saturday, a little bit warmer. In fact, we're going to see temperatures about 60 degrees, maybe even low 60s. And that's what we're seeing in the yellows and the lighter green colors, some upper 50s and lower 60s. So I'm telling you, this week weekend looks very, very nice. Sunday, partly cloudy, probably the warmest day we'll see of the entire forecast. A lot of 60s, especially in eastern Washington for Sunday. It's just going to be a nice day, so we hope you get out there and uh, enjoy the beautiful weather all weekend long. For Monday, the nice weather will continue, mostly sunny and mild, with once again high temperatures still below normal, but really not that bad, with highs right around 60 degrees. Let's take a look at your quick lube and tune seven-day forecast now, and 34 degrees. The overnight low tonight, sunny and cool for Wednesday, 51 the high. 30 our overnight low. It may be even in the upper 20s in some locations. So if you have tomatoes out there, you might want to cover them up or maybe even pick them and bring them in for the rest of the season. 53 for Thursday warmer and that warming trend will continue right into the upcoming weekend. 58 for Saturday. As I mentioned, it looks like Sunday will be our warmest day at 60 degrees and we'll stay in the upper 50s to near 60 on Monday with a high then of 59. And that's a look at your local weather forecast coming up next tonight's sports report with Eric Grandstrom and more as the NCW Life Evening News continues right after this. Some jobs are a calling. 
They require something deeper, an innate devotion to the communities in which we live. At Gisa Credit Union, we help you support local firefighters. With every purchase you make with a Gisa Local Heroes Affinity Debit Card, we make a donation to select firefighter organizations. After all, we can never repay them, but we can do our best to help a little. With the Gisa Firefighters Affinity Debit Card. At Local Myth Pizza, we believe in real food, freshly prepared with only premium ingredients. Our cheeses are imported from Italy. Our sauces, dressings, and even our sausages are made in-house, fresh, daily. Featuring Northwest craft beers and 30 Chelan Valley wines and ciders. Family fun and amazing food. Eat local, drink local, and be local at Local Myth Pizza. Come see why Sunset Magazine says you can't beat Local Myth Pizza. One dealership in Wenatchee has Motor Trend's SUV of the Year and Truck of the Year. That's right, Town Chrysler Jeep Dodge Ram has the all-new Jeep Wrangler and the all-new Ram 1500 pickup. Or get the best of both worlds in the new Jeep Gladiator. Visit Town Chrysler Jeep Dodge Ram today for more information on these award winners and see why there's no reason to leave town to buy your next vehicle. Are you watching me? If you're watching me and you are a business owner in North Central Washington, your potential customers could be seeing your TV commercial right now. With Solely on Broadcasting, TV advertising is effective and affordable. Place your ads on the network best suited to your potential customers or get top of mind awareness with 16 cable networks, including NCW Life, your local TV channel. Give Solely on Broadcasting a call at 888-2020 today to see how easy and affordable it is to advertise on TV. And now it's a sports update on the NCW Life Channel. And a happy Tuesday to you. The Yankees are back in the American League Championship Series. New York will play in its 16th ALCS after sweeping the Twins three games to none by winning game three at Target Field yesterday, five to one. Gleyber Torres went three for four with three runs and a home run, while Diddy Gregorius was two for four with two RBIs to lead the Yankees to the sweep. New York now awaits the winner of Houston and Tampa Bay for a shot at the World Series. Speaking of which, Tampa Bay staved off elimination with its 10-3 win over Houston yesterday in Game 3. The Rays hit four home runs in the Game 3, which off of Houston starter Zach Greinke, uh, Game 4 is today. Astros-Rays game is the only one on the slate today because both National League Division Series will shift to Game 5s after each series was even yesterday. In St. Louis, the Cardinals rallied behind Yadier Molina's game-tying single in the eighth and his game-winning sack fly in the tenth to knock off Atlanta by a score of 5-4. to four. Marcel Ozuna also went 2-5 for five with two home runs. Paul Goldschmidt was 3-4 for four with a homer to help St. Louis even the series at 2-2. Game 5 tomorrow in Atlanta at 2:02 in the afternoon on TBS. Washington worked some hometown magic to even its series with Los Angeles by as the Nationals beat the Dodgers 6-1 on Monday. Trey Turner was 3-5 for five with two runs while Ryan Zimmerman went 2-4 for four with a three-run home run to lead the Nats. On the mound, Max Scherzer was Dominant going seven innings, allowing one run on four hits with seven strikeouts. Game five tomorrow at 537 in the afternoon in Dodger Stadium on TBS. I know, strange start times. Let's take a look at the uh, prep soccer schedule for tonight across North Central Washington. Manson is hosting Oroville, an earlier battle of the, make that an early battle of the top spot in the CWAC is in Efreda tonight where the Tigers host Quincy. Cascade will host Chelan while Kashmir has an oddly game against Wenatchee. Eastmont also on the road at Moses Lake tonight for a 7 o'clock kickoff. On the volleyball courts tonight, Kashmir welcomes Wilson Creek for a non-league game coming up at 6.30 at Chelan at Cascade. Andy at host Moses Lake Christian and Manson's on the road at Liberty Bell. Quincy hosts Wapato at 7 while Topadish is in Efreda. And we'll have Moses Lake and Eastmont tonight here on TV at 7 o'clock. Which leads us to our sports schedule this week on the NCW Life Channel. I'll, have, I'll be courtside for Eastmont's uh, game tonight against the Chiefs. 7 o'clock game time, the pregame here live at 6.45. Hockey night Thursday features the Merritt Centennials and the Wenatchee Wild from a game at the Town Toyota Center back in September. Then on Friday, 
Friday. Friday Night Lights will feature Eastman and Davis in Wildcats homecoming game. 7 o'clock, I'll be with Grant Olson for your pregame show starting at 645. Well, the Seahawks had a rare opportunity to see their next opponent on TV last night. The Cleveland Browns looked hapless in a 31-3 shellacking at the hands of the San Francisco 49ers on Monday Night Football. Coach Pete Carroll said Monday it would be a chance to learn more about their upcoming challenge. A little homework assignment for everybody tonight. So, uh, it, you know, they're, they're an interesting team. They've got all kinds of firepower. And, and so uh, just in the early stages of learning about them, um, they've got a lot of dangerous players on both sides of the ball. So far this season, Seattle's defense has registered 10 sacks in five games. Quentin Jefferson has two of those, Jadavian Clowney the another. Coach Carroll thinks the front seven are about to turn some larger numbers in that regard. We were so close to three or four sacks, and, and uh, so you can just feel that it's coming alive. And I, I think we're going to just the combination with Zig outside and, and what's going going on inside. I think we're going to be able to work together better, and uh, we'll spot him a little bit better. Just, uh, I'm sorry. J does Jadivian look like he would look? Is he starting to look like physically like he would look had he had a normal off season? Um, I, 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 no, not yet. I think he's got. You know, it's all the prep time for him in our style and what we're asking him to do. He's rushing the passer all the time. Um, I think he would have, you know, just had the benefit of, of all of the work off season wise with his hands and, the, and feet and the things that, that we do uh, technically, you know, I think he, he would have been farther along. But, um, you know, he's a natural athlete as comes to him and he's he's he, he's active, you know, he's real active. And, and uh, the thing that I really like, he, he's really active and looking like he's going to come alive and, and, and have a big game here in the next couple. Um, and also with Ziggy, Ziggy gets such great effort and chases the football so hard. Uh, he, he, he's going to make more plays too. So I think those two guys in particular will be the guys to pick up. We did not rush the backers much in this game, you know, and, and they didn't get much chance to, to help out. So um, they will more in the future. Seattle and Cleveland will kick off from First Energy Stadium 10 o'clock Sunday morning. So grab your mimosa or your Bloody Mary and get ready for some Seahawks football. That's Sports News. I'm Eric Grandstrom on the NCW Life Channel. Grant, welcome back. Back to you. I am. Thank you, Eric. And that is, uh, well, so it's first. Finally tonight, if you're taking up too much space in a Wenatchee parking lot, watch yourself. A new Twitter account just might call you out on it. Wenatchee's worst parkers takes photos of parking offenders and posts them for all the world to see, license plates and all. The account's been running since mid-September, and so far it's netted 10 different instances of poor parking etiquette around the Wenatchee Valley. Consider yourself warned. And now let's check in with Dan Coons for a look at what's coming up tomorrow morning on Wake Up Wenatchee Valley. Hi, everybody. Dan Coons, join me tomorrow on Wake Up Wenatchee Valley. My guest will be Alex Haley, the Interim Executive Director of the Numerica Performing Arts Center. It'll be a great conversation. Plus, we'll have your latest weather forecast and highlights from Eastmont Moses Lake Volleyball. All that and a whole bunch more tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. live right here on the NCW Life Channel. Thank you, Dan. And that's going to do it for our newscast tonight. For more on these stories and other news from around North Central Washington, you can find us on Facebook or our website at ncwlife.com. And remember, if you see news happening, we'd like to hear from you. You can send us an email at news at ncwlife.com or give us a call at 888-6295. Also, keep it right here on the NCW Life channel tomorrow morning for Wake Up Wenatchee Valley with host Dan Kuntz. I'm Grant Olson. Thanks for joining us and have a great night. W Live Channel is your home for local news, local weather, and events including live local high school sports. Watch inspiring local shows featuring local people. Don't miss Wake Up Wenatchee Valley. Let's learn. Guada TV. Street Talk and other stuff. The 12th District. Life with Lisa. And the Arbiter of Stoke. NCW Life Channel is your local TV station. Some jobs are a calling. They take passion and a devotion to the community. They're here for your kids, guiding the next generation of leaders. At Giza Credit Union, we help you support local teachers.
Every purchase you make with the Geese of Local Heroes Affinity Debit Card, we make a donation to select teacher organizations. After all, we can never repay them, but we can do our best to help a little. With the Geese Teachers Affinity Debit Card.